Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com and recently I've gotten some requests from viewers uh, about how to control the T-Rex Leslie with MIDI control, uh, mainly to speed up and slow down the Leslie, uh, the, the speaker speed, uh, like using a mod wheel or another controller. And so Cakewalk by BandLamp has a very interesting feature called ACT, A-C-T, uh, Active Controller Technology that allows you to uh, use MIDI commands and MIDI control to control parameters in a VST plugin or effect. And so we're going to take a look and see how we can do that. So you've noticed I have an empty project here. I've just called it uh, T Rex Leslie Test. Uh, no tracks here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and insert uh, VB32 into this project. Uh, we're going to say Soft Synth. And then I'm just going to create a simple instrument track. And that combines audio and MIDI together into one. There we go. And I'm going to go in to amp and effects. I'm going to disable the rotary effect. And now we're going to uh, create an act controller. And uh, just a very simple controller that we're going to do. So we go to edit preferences and then we're going to go into control surfaces here under the uh, MIDI category here control surfaces. You can see I've already got a, a generic surface enabled and that's to uh, tie in my nano controller and my D9X uh, drawbar controller which is really fantastic. <laughs> so let's go in and just create a new control surface and I'm just going to just just not do anything but just create an ACT MIDI controller. Uh, nothing special with this and so we're going to uh, say OK. Now you notice now when we go under utilities we have the generic surface I created earlier and now the new surface at the ACT MIDI controller. That's what we're going to use to control the T-Rex uh, Leslie. And so you notice when you when you have this pulled up uh, it's now it's just reflecting channel strip parameters but now let's go ahead and insert the T-Rex Leslie and let's bring it up here. So we're going to bring the T-Rex Leslie into focus and we're going to enable. And you notice when I clicked enable, uh, T-Rex TR5 Leslie showed up. And now you notice all of these different uh, slots are populated with automatable parameters that uh, are exposed by T-Rex Leslie. Uh, so basically in a plugin, you have controls that you can automate um, all of these parameters. So we go into the T-Rex 5 Leslie and you notice we've got, we can control spring, amp volume, slow speed, deceleration, all of these different um, parameters uh, are automatable. And so what ACT allows you to do is tie the automatable parameters to MIDI control. Um, and so you notice what just happened. One of the things that, that's kind of frustrating sometimes when you're first working with this is that whatever plugin you're trying to control has to be in focus. So when, notice when I clicked it in focus, boom, all these controls started showing up. So I'm going to assign the speed to the mod wheel. Uh, and so the way you do that, we're going to go in here. And when you click on one of the cells, uh, it, it enables MIDI Learn to start uh, taking place. So I'm going to click on the speed parameter here, slow, and watch what happens. I'm going to click, MIDI Learn shows up. I'm going to move the mod wheel. And you know you automatically see that the slow and fast is being <laughs> okay. And uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and enable another parameter, and let's just say the spring. And I'm going to use uh, control number two on my uh, rotary control number two on my nano controller here because I've already assigned uh, control number one to mod modulation so watch what happens when I move that see I can control it with the mod wheel or I can control it with this so the spring spring is right here so I'm just going to assign it to rotary control number two so I click MIDI learn and I move the control Okay, and we're pretty hot here, so I'm going to back the output down some. And see, you notice, once again, we're out of focus, so I'm going to... 
it passes notes through fine because we're going through here, but it's not passing them through to the plugin unless the plugin's in focus. So once we've learned these two basic controls, let me show you what we can do with that. And I'm going to minimize uh, VB32 so we can just see the, what's going on with the Leslie. So I'm going to just record just a little bit with the... Uh, and you notice that I'm moving the mod wheel, but nothing's being recorded or changed. That's because, uh, well, let me, let me try to put this in focus as we're recording. Uh, let's see. Now here, you notice that the, the speed's slowing down and that kind of thing. But nothing's being recorded into the track. That's because it's, it's automation. And so in order for us to record the automation the same time we're recording our performance, we actually have to go ahead and write enable for automation. I'm going to go back to the beginning and watch what happens now when we record. So here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of fun. So you notice now we have automation lanes of, of the speed control and the spring control. And so we'll play those back and watch what happens. Speeding up and slowing down. And then you notice coming up, the spring, yeah, the spring automation kicks in. So that's really cool. And you can go in to the automation now and see the two parameters that we've uh, automated. The spring springs down here, it's blue. And so you notice it's highlighted and we can adjust those nodes and that kind of thing. So, um, so that's just one of the ways that uh, ACT controller technology, active controller technology and Cakewalk by BandLab can just help you just have access to some of these controls, especially if you're using an effect plugin. Now, if the, if the plugin was integrated right into the instrument, then that would pass the MIDI right on through. But this just gives you a nice workaround uh, in case you don't have that available, especially for effects plugins. Now, listen, it doesn't have to be a rotary effect. It could be any effects plugin that you can uh, do the same thing with your control surfaces or controllers. So I hope that's helpful. And if it's your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe and click on those notifications. Um, just trying to work on some really cool things to show and present uh, to you guys. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.